This tutorial will demonstrate some tools and techniques you can use in PaintShop Pro to help restore old photos. Specifically, I'll show how to remove the scratches, cracks, and dust spots that often appear on scans of old photos. The tools we'll use are Scratch Remover, Clone Tool, and Blemish Fixer. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial, along with the sample images you can download to try out the steps yourself. I have here a scanned baby photo I'll bring into PaintShop Pro by dragging it up from the organizer. I'll click the push pin to minimize the organizer and zoom in a bit. I want to fix these two long scratches, this vertical one and this diagonal one. And there are a few dusty spots along the baby's face that can be touched up as well. I'll first demonstrate the scratch remover tool, which is here in the clone tool group. There are two preset properties you can try. The setting for small scratches has a width of 15 pixels and for large a width of 35. This scratch is pretty wide, so I'll go with the larger preset. I'll click and drag a short distance over the top of this scratch. This tool has an inner and outer zone and replaces what's in the inner zone with what's in the outer zone. So when I release the mouse button, the scratch is pretty well covered. I'll skip over the chair for now and drag a few sections to cover most of this scratch. For the chair, I need to use a narrower width. I could switch to the smaller preset, or I can use the arrow to reduce the width. I'll use my scroll wheel to zoom in and drag small sections at a time. Next, I'll tackle the large diagonal scratch. Using the scratch remover is less effective here because of the pattern of the chair back. I get this wavy effect. So I'll undo with Control Z. A better tool for this is the clone tool. What I start with here is a circle that I need to place over the area I want to copy. This is the source area. I'll adjust my brush size by pressing the Alt key and dragging the mouse. I want the source circle to be large enough to pick up the holes in the chair pattern. I'll right click to set this area as the source. I can apply this tool either by clicking or dragging. In areas where the pattern is pretty uniform, I'll try dragging, but I'll go slowly and stop when the pattern stops looking correct, like here where it's getting too dark. I can drag down here as well. Over here, a few clicks does the trick. But here on this border, I want to take the source from a different spot. So I'll right click and place the source here along the chair border, then click over the scratch to paste in the source. I'll do the same thing at the top of the chair. Right click to place the source here, then click over the scratch. Along this wide part of the scratch, I can go back to the scratch remover, set a larger width, Square the brush edges and drag to cover. I'll do the same up here. For the dust spots, I'll use the Blemish Fixer, which is part of the Makeover Tool group. Blemish Fixer is this first icon. This works in a similar way to the scratch remover, but as a circle instead of a straight line. I can adjust the brush size by dragging while holding the Alt key, and whatever appears in the outer zone gets placed in the inner zone once I click. I want to use the smallest possible brush to avoid painting over bits that I want to remain. This is a tiny scratch, but Blemish Fixer works well here too. For another example of photo restoring, I'll use this old photo with many small bits of dust and scratches. The tool I'll use to take care of some of these areas is Adjust, Add Remove Noise, Automatic Small Scratch Removal. I have Preview on Image checked so that I can see what the tool is doing, and I want to remove the light scratches. I'll zoom in to see the dark jacket, use the normal strength, and adjust the upper contrast limit to see some of the light spots disappear. If I switch to aggressive strength, even more spots are gone. Then I can use the blemish fixer to take care of the rest of the spots, one by one. 
This brings us to the end of this tutorial on removing scratches, cracks, and dust on your old photos. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, please follow the link in the description below, which will take you to this tutorial page in Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written version of this tutorial, along with the sample images you can download and follow along.